Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've got a, another completely random haul for you. I've purchased a few things here and there over the past couple of weeks and thought I would just combine them all and do this one video for you. So if you're interested in seeing what I've purchased over the past, yeah, I wanna say a couple weeks, over the past couple weeks and just keep on watching. Glossier just came out with two new cloud paint colors. They have four that are part of their existing line. And so I picked up both of them. One is called Dawn, which is uh, like a bright tangerine orange color. Let me just take it out of the box here. So here is the packaging for the Glossier Cloud Paint. And if you're not um, familiar with this product, it's basically like a cream liquid blush. So here is Dawn. Let me go ahead and swatch this for you. So here is Dawn. Obviously you wouldn't put that much on your cheeks unless you wanted to. And you only need just a teensy bit of these cloud paints to get the pigment that you want. So I love these. I think they have a great texture. They blend out really nicely. And then because you're kind of like putting such a thin layer down, they really do set down so that they don't budge. They don't stay like tacky at all. So there is Dawn. And then the other color is called Storm. And this is actually what I have on my cheeks today along with some other things, but that's the blush that you see. This is a very, very beautiful color, but with my skin tone, you really have to be light-handed with this. So there is Storm. And there it is blended out. It's such a beautiful color. It's like the perfect rouge color. It's so, so pretty. Uh, both of these colors, I think, are probably more geared towards someone with like a medium, medium to dark skin tone. But if you use a light hand and you have my skin tone, I think it works. I have all four of the other colors, which you probably saw in my makeup collection video. So anyway, I'm excited to add these to my uh, cloud paint collection. And then I hit the Guerlain counter again. You guys, I'm totally hooked. So I picked up the Terracotta Summer Glow golden face powder. This is one of their highlighters and this I have uh, brushed across the tops of my cheeks. It's really, really pretty and very golden, <laughs> very, very golden. So this is what the compact looks like. Super pretty. It's like domed. I don't know if you can see that. And here's the pan. It has the word terracotta and like these sunbeams embossed on the pan. So let me give you a swatch of this and, and it smells like the beach. So there is the gold highlighter. So it's very pretty. And if I put it on with like a light hand, it just gives me like a nice kind of golden sheen. Anything heavier, and I think it ends up being too obvious, a little bit too dark for my skin tone, but like with a nice like light layer, it's just, it's just really, really pretty. So that's the Terracotta Summer Glow Palette, and I believe this is limited edition, and there's only one shade in this particular powder. So I'm happy to have picked this up. It very much reminds me of the limited edition um, holiday powder that came in that tin with the pop-off lid. Very, very similar to that. And then I picked up another Meteorites. This is the Rainbow Pearls. I heard um, Tara Babies talk about this and I was really intrigued. So I believe this is the limited edition Meteorites that came out for this summer. And this is the special packaging that it came in. So there's like these rainbow dots on there and also on the lid here. And like all meteorites, the top just pops off. There's a sponge on the inside. And then here are the pearls. So the pearls are a little bit less sparkly. I think there's still some, you know, sparkle in there, but definitely not as much as the regular ones. This one seems to be a little bit more kind of like dulled down from the regular meteorites. And let me see if I can get kind of like a swatch for you. I don't know, here's <laughs> here's the powder on my finger. So it's very cool toned and you can see that it's, it's not exactly matte, but it's it's matter than the regular meteorites, I think. So Tara Babies had mentioned in her video that she thought that this was a great finish for the summertime because it is, you know, not quite as sparkly and you kind of probably want something a little bit more matte when you're out there and you're kind of sweaty under the sun. And I agree with her. I think this is a great move for Guerlain to release in the summertime. It just makes sense and they're so pastel -y. It's just, it's really nice. And it has the violet scent, which is so pleasant. 
So I'm excited to use this. I haven't actually used them yet, so I'm excited to give them a shot. And then in my last um, Surratt Lid Lacquer video, I had mentioned that they sent me a really nice little PR package, which was wonderful. They sent me the four remaining lid lacquers that I didn't have and those two sponge tip applicators that were released with the lid lacquers. But they also threw in a few other things, which was really nice. So he sent over the Expressionist Brow Pomade and I was like, yes, if anyone in this world needs brow pomade, it's me. I just have the longest, scariest brows. And this is the box that it came in. And here's the brow pomade. Kind of looks like a mascara, but here is the pomade. So it's like a, it's like one of those like, like moldable gels. And then it has that brush on there. I've used it a couple times and it's great. It's great. So I'll use a pencil to kind of fill in some sparse areas and then I'll use this and just sort of lightly brush it into my very long brow hairs and it really keeps them in place. Definitely not as crunchy as like a clear brow gel like from um, like Anastasia Beverly Hills. That's really crunchy and very hard. This is nothing like that. This is even a little bit softer than the Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel. Even that one has a little bit, which is what I have in my um, eyebrows today. Even this has a like the tiniest bit of crunch. This has like zero crunch. This is like literally just a pomade. It just kind of helps like mold your hairs into place. So I'm loving this and I'm so happy that they sent this over because I've been wanting to try this for a very long time. So I'm so glad that they sent it. And then they also sent over their mascara. So this is the, the Releve, Releve Mascara in Noir. And I'm not gonna open it up because I have so many mascaras that are open. They go bad so quickly. I barely wear mascara. I have some on today, but anyway. Uh, so this is their mascara in black. And then they sent over a lip sleek in Eglatine, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, but this is one of my all time favorite uh, lip formulas. And this color, surprised I didn't already own it. This color is so beautiful. I actually wore it in a previous video and a bunch of you were asking me what I had on my lips. I forgot to put it in my description box, but here is the color. So it's just a really beautiful kind of like English rose kind of color. I just love it. It's a little bit on the cool side, has a little bit of pink in there. It's just gorgeous. So I'm so happy to have this and thank you so, so much to Surat Beauty for sending these over to me. And then I made an order at Ulta. They were um, doing like a 20% off. I think if you're like a platinum member um, and it was on all brands, so prestige brands as well. So I placed an order. I just cut the box. Let me open this up. So this box is incredibly heavy because I decided to take the opportunity and stock up on my e.l.f. makeup wipes. So yeah, so I got 10 of these. There's 40 in each. And so I have 400 wipes now. That'll last me like a week. And then I picked up some really random stuff. So let me, let me get beyond these e.l.f. wipes here. So I picked up another Bare Minerals Gen Nude eyeshadow palette. These are those six pan eyeshadow palettes. I picked up two previously. I got the Latte and the Neutral, and I really enjoy them. I love Bare Minerals eyeshadows. I think they're so great. So I was like, let me get one more. Let me just try one more. So this one is Copper. Here is the outside packaging, and here is Copper. Let's do some quick swatches here. So here, this is, sorry, this is the Surratt uh, lipstick. Uh, so here are the swatches here. There's three mattes and three shimmers. Those look really beautiful. So I can't wait to dig into this palette. They have not disappointed yet, so I'm really, really excited. I really, I think what caught my eye in this palette is this Trippin color. This like really kind of like army olive green kind of color. Really pretty. And then I picked up two things from Stila. I actually haven't purchased anything from Stila in a really long time, but I was watching The Fancy Face. I don't know if you guys are subscribed to her channel. She's great. She actually took a little bit of a hiatus and I was really worried she wasn't coming back, but she came back and um, she actually showed these new Stila Vivid and Vibrant Eyeshadow Duos. I didn't even know that these were released. So thank you to Tina, The Fancy Face, for um, showing these to me. But they looked really, really beautiful. So this this is the color sapphire doesn't that look amazing so the left side here seems like kind of a typical uh, really metallic foily shadow and then this side seems kind of like a pressed glitter 
Let's see if I can swatch these. Oh, wow. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, child. <laughs> Those look really amazing. Let's see. Benefits. Richly pigmented eyeshadows in metallic and glitter finishes. Super blendable formula applies smoothly and uniformly. Usage. Wear individually or layered. That's, I guess, what I was curious about if I had to kind of layer this over this shadow, but I guess not. Wow, that's really, really pretty. I think there are four colors in total, four or six colors in total, all kind of like bright jewel tones. So if this one works out, I may pick up some others because these are just really pretty. And then I picked up one of the Stila Heaven's Hue highlighters. These are those kind of like interesting putty highlighters. And I think I mentioned this in a Will I Buy It? And I was like, eh. I don't know, I'm kind of on the fence. And a bunch of you were like, oh, Nicole from Young, Wild and Polished, whom I love. Um, you guys said that she really, really loved these. So I was like, okay, let me give it a shot. And so they came out with this color, which I believe is new. Uh, this is called Luminescence and it's like this rose gold. So the glue in this pan is kind of come undone. So the product is fine. It's just the pan that it's in is kind of like coming out. Anyway, this is what Heaven's Hue looks like. Let me go ahead and swatch this. Ooh, God, these do feel so weird. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, I'm excited for this. I'm glad I picked this up. This feels not as like goopy as I thought it was gonna be. This actually does feel like once you get it on your fingers and your skin, it just, it does kind of feel like powder. It's not like too greasy in any way. So that's exciting. So that again was in shade Luminescence. And then um, I was talking to my dear friend uh, here on YouTube. Her name is Georgia Harris. If you guys don't follow her, follow her. And she was like, you have to have to try the Flower Beauty lipsticks. She's like, these are the best lipsticks that she's experienced in a very long time. And so with a testimonial like that, I was like, okay, I, I can't pass these up. So I picked up two colors. I got Naked Blush a matte and cinnamon crush, also a matte. So colors 20 and 30. And here is naked blush. And these don't seem terribly matte. I guess the finish of them are, are is kind of matte, but there's a little bit of, there's a little bit of something in there. So I'm hoping they're really comfortable. So again, this one is naked blush and there's like zero scent. Oh, I got some on my nose. And then this one is cinnamon crush. This one's a little bit deeper. Ooh, these are going on really nicely. So there is Cinnamon Crush. All right, so I think I'm probably gonna do like a get ready with me, like playing around with some recently hauled stuff. And I think I definitely wanna throw these in there. So I'm glad I got those. And so that's all I got from Ulta. All right, so let's move on to Melt Cosmetics. So you guys know that I loved that Gemini palette. I know it got very mixed reviews. I don't think it worked out perfectly for a lot of people, but I love it. I thought the quality was amazing. I Every single shadow I thought just performed really, really well. So when they came out with uh, 27, I was like, I'm gonna need to get that. I know it's all warm tones and I know I probably have every single shade in here somewhere in my collection, but I really like this company and I really do like their shades. So this is what 27 looks like. And I don't think that this palette sold out quite as quickly as Gemini. In fact, I think it may still be available. So if you guys want me to do like a full kind of dedicated video on this, just let me know. Yeah, I just opened up this box, so I'm not even sure how these perform. I don't really have my thoughts on this, but let's go ahead and swatch a couple of these. Most of these are mattes, it looks like, and then we have the two uh, shimmery shades here, Crime Fighter and Vegas Past. So obviously I have to swatch Vegas past. Ooh, very pretty. Wow, look at that. It's like a coppery bronze. So that's Vegas past. That was one of the shimmers. Let's do one of the mattes. Let's do thick. Yeah, seems like the rest of their shadows. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh, I'm excited for this now. So definitely let me know if you want um, a video on this be happy to do it. And then what they did when they released the Gemini palette, they did the same thing when they released this palette, they marked down their stacks. So I picked up two stacks that I did not have in my collection, one being the Love Sick stack. So it has four shades in here. Here is Love Sick. Um, this one is Amelie. This looks like a fun kind of satin duo chromey peach color. 
And then here is Fixated, which is like a matte kind of um, grayish blue. And then this last one is Promiscuous, which looks like a satiny purple. So that is Lovesick. And sorry, I'm just kind of flying through these because this isn't new and um, if I swatched everything, this would take forever. But yeah, if you want more information on this melt stuff, just let me know, I can do a dedicated video. And then I also got the Dark Matter stack. So this one is Dark Matter, this is their matte black. And then this is Enigma, which is a really warm brown. This one is Unseen, nice mid-tone brown. This one is Blur which is a light creamy beige. And these were all mattes. So those were the two stacks that I picked up along with the 27 palette. All right, and then I picked up some stuff from Nordstrom. I got the new Clay de Poe Corrector and I got it in the shade Ivory, which I believe is the lightest shade. I think they only have like six shades in this. And anyway, it's supposed to be like a corrector, highlighter, concealer kind of pen with a brush tip. This is gonna be part of my concealer week, which I've already started to film. So I'm not gonna to talk too much about this. I'm just gonna put this away. And then I went on some like weird nail polish buying binge. I bought um, five Chanel nail polishes along with the gel top coat. So I've been doing my own nails lately for a long time now, or trying to, as you can tell, I'm kind of failing horribly. But uh, I was going through my nail polishes and I have a bunch of Chanel nail polishes and I love them. But it was like, I was kind of calculating how old they were. They're like super old, like super, super duper old. And so when I do use them, they don't really have much of a longevity on my nails anymore, maybe a couple days, and then they really start to look kind of crappy. So I had purchased, you know, a couple of the newer Chanel nail polishes here and there, and they last much longer. Like I can go like a week with them and they're fine. So I was like, you know what? I just need to refresh this collection. So that was the impetus behind this like random nail polish haul. But I decided to pick up the long wear top coat. So just recently I got the uh, base coat and then I got the quick dry top coat and then someone said that they thought the quick dry top coat um, chipped and kind of cracked actually a couple people mentioned that um, and that it actually like kind of didn't help the longevity of their nail polish and that they recommended this like gel long wear top coat so I thought I would just pick this up I didn't really see too much of an issue with the um, quick drying top coat but again I was using such old nail polish it's like I didn't know what was doing what so anyway um, pick this up this comes in a solid black um, bottle and then I got like I mentioned five different colors so I'll just start here this one is New Dawn this is a nice cool kind of like gray color Cavalier Cavalier oh nice this is like a metallic brown color hope you can see it through the reflection of the glass there and then this one is emblematique and this is just a nice kind of deep red and then oh so this color i had and i brought it to new york and lost i have no idea what happened to it at least i thought i brought it to new york anyway i can't find it this one is celebrity this one is just a black nail polish which i i really love and i wear often so i was like let me just get this again so that's celebrity and then Arancio Vibrante. Aw, the cap up here is cracked. So this one is like a vibrant orange. That is really pretty. So that is Arancio Vibrante. And then Nordstrom was having like a beauty gift bag event and it came with all of these kind of random samples. I'm trying to see if there's anything even worth mentioning because most of these are just like little foil packs and stuff. None of it is is that exciting. So anyway, that is what I got at Nordstrom. And then I did kind of a crazy skincare haul. So a couple things here actually were sent to me in PR and I just, I have to give them a shot. This I just got, this is from Paradox and this is pure Moroccan argan oil with essential rose. So here's the matte black box, which is pretty sleek. Here is the packaging for that. So this company reached out to me. I read a little bit about it and um, they use like organic ingredients and everything. And they're like a women owned company. So I thought, you know what, let me, let me give it a shot because I like, you know, everything that they stand for. So there's only two ingredients in here, organic um, argan oil and rose oil. So it comes with a little pump here. Let me just pump a little bit out. I'm just curious to see how thick this is or thin. Oh, it's pretty thin, which is nice. So there it is. I don't know. That's probably useless for you, but <laughs> oh, it's nice. Oh, wow. 
Oh, it smells like roses. Oh, that's beautiful. It reminds me of the Joe Malone Red Roses perfume. If you like that, you would love this. Oh, wow. Well, I'm excited to try this. I will definitely give you my feedback on that. And then um, Kogendo sent me their new Herbal Spa Mist. So this contains natural herbal essences. It uses Izumo natural spa water. It's alcohol-free and mildly acidic. I used this once or twice. So here is the bottle. It's like a tin bottle, red colored, and has a nice sprayer, very decent sprayer. And it actually reminds me a bit of my Josh uh, Rosebrook. Am I remembering that correctly? Josh Rosebrook, I believe is the full name. He has that, that spray, that moisturizing spray. And this has a similar, it has a similar scent. It's a little bit different. This one's a little bit fresher, but I use this a couple times. It's it's very, very nice. I like it for moisturizing. I like it as part of my skin skincare routine. I haven't used it in terms of like, um, like Fix Plus, like kind of setting my makeup down or, you know, if I'm feeling a little bit too dry, kind of spraying it over makeup. I haven't done that with this yet, but I have used it as part of my skincare routine and it's very nice. And then because of Natalie over at Flower Bomb 31, I picked up the Rodan Luxury Body Oil. This is part of the Mermaid Glow collection and I picked up all the other things from that collection. I really enjoy them. And I passed on this because I was like, well, I have some of the other oils. Do I really need this? She said it smelled like the beach, which the other oils do not. So I had to pick this up. I haven't even opened it yet, but let's, oh, let's go ahead and see. It smells like the beach. So this variety is sea kelp and sambic. So here is the bottle. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. I love the seahorse on there. And then there's basically three different oils in here that are separated. So I think if you just shake them up a bit, there it is all mixed together. And let's take a sniffy. Oh, it does. I really like the Rodin oils, um, but they're like no fragrance. I think it's just like the oils is what you're smelling. And sometimes it's a little too natural for me but it, it's just it's like a very very organic smell and after a while you get used to it and now i kind of enjoy it but at first it's a little off-putting especially when you're used to things that are fragranced and um anyway so this is this is really nice i'll probably be using this over the other over the other body oil mm, very very pretty so thank you to natalie over at flower bomb 31 for mentioning that otherwise i would have passed this up but this is great what is this? Oh, I went to Target and picked up uh, two more of the Sonia Kashuk sponges. I just love them. I think I was just in the neighborhood and decided to pick some up. Uh, but the sponges that I have, I bought a two pack. They're still going strong and it's been a couple months now. So they last a very long time. I love those Sonia Kashuk sponges. And then I did, um, gosh, this is a long haul, sorry. So this is the last of it, but I did a little damage at the La Mer counter because Saks Fifth Avenue was offering, I think it's $75 back if you spent $350. So there are a couple things there that I wanted to try. So I thought I would take the opportunity. One being the um, new replenishing oil exfoliator. This, um, I tried it at the store. The exfoliating scrubbies in here are, are rough. They're, they're very rough. And I think if you have uh, sensitive skin to roughness, like, you know, like if a rough brush kind of like makes your face really red, this probably is not the product for you. My face is not sensitive to actual like texture like that. My face is definitely more sensitive to like acids, um, to drying ingredients, but not to kind of like scratchiness, if that makes sense. So I don't mind like a harsh kind of scrub, especially if I feel like I, you know, I just feel like I need it. So anyway, that has been my observation, although I haven't actually used it yet, but here is, here's the bottle. It's very pretty. Let me, let me smell it. I don't remember if I smelled it in store. Oh, it smells really nice. It has a really thick kind of consistency. Anyway, once I kind of bust this open and use it, I will be able to give you a little bit more feedback on that. And then I also wanted to try the renewal oil and I think I had done, oh, it was my empties video and a bunch of you were recommending the Genesense. I think that's what it's called, the Genesense lotion. Um, and it was after I purchased all this stuff from La Mer. Otherwise I would have gotten that and uh, saved a little bit of money, but I decided to pick up the renewal oil um, because I love face oils and just had never tried the La Mer one. And I love, I love La Mer. So I was like, why haven't I tried this? So I picked it up and I got the half ounce one just in case. And it also, it just takes me a long time to get through oil. So I was like, I don't need the full ounce. 
So here is the half ounce of the renewal oil. By the way, this paradox oil is still on my skin. So that is very, very moisturizing. Wow. I can still see it like glistening on my skin. My goodness. All right. So that's the renewal oil that I also picked up. And then this I actually got by mistake. So my husband loves the La Mer toner. It's like a really light pink and I love it too. I use it occasionally if I feel like I need to tone my skin, which I don't often, um, but he loves it. And I don't know, I've mentioned a couple times that he's been dealing with some breakouts. So he was like, can you get me the toner since you have the coupon? I was like, okay, I'll get you the toner. Anyway, they threw in the micellar water by accident. They charged me for the toner. Actually, it's the same price, but they rang me up for the toner, but then put the micellar water into the bag. And I was gonna return this and exchange it for the toner, but I don't know, I kind of wanted to try the micellar water. Even though I love the Kogendo cleansing spa water, I was like, let me try this. So anyway, I purchased him the toner and that should be coming soon. But I'm excited to try this micellar water. Again, I love La Mer, so I thought, why not? And this is, this feels like a pretty big bottle. Let's see, it's probably all packaging. So here is the micellar water and it is 6.7 fluid ounces and it has like a like a light blue color to it so again i will report back on all of these skincare products because it takes a while to kind of form an opinion at least for me it takes me a while to form an opinion on skincare Whew, i feel like i've been talking forever i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did please let me know down below in the comment section if you want a dedicated video to that melt 27 palette or anything that i hauled i will try and do that for you and subscribe before you leave i will see you in my next video